I yell all ones and ones. In happy times, I said greeting. I said greeting into the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Christ Lamb. Greeting in the name of Haile Selassie, Kedamawi, the Christ King. And greetings also in the blessed name of our Father, Xavier. I yell all ones and ones to stay, stay true. The feature of this video is magnificent. The feature of this video and its characteristic it comes from the fullness, its analytical point of view, and its analysts have been taken from the Keber Negas, the Sixth Canon version, the Melchizedek legend from the Slavonic version, and many others. The feature of this video points to the fullness that Melchizedek is above Abraham, and it points to the fact that Shem. The son of Noah is that Melchizedek who stand and greet Abraham after the start of the king. It's point to the fact that the Noahitic tradition, which came after the Enochitic tradition, is only a full version from Melchizedek, son of Ner, who was king of Salem and high priest of the Most High God. E was Melchizedek the first. The feature of this video will indicate that it was not that Melchizedek, who was son of Ner, who met Abraham, but it was Melchizedek the third, son of Noah, who met Abraham after the slaughter of the king. The video will point to you that scriptures have outlaid that Melchizedek, son of Noah, who was same Shem was also above Abraham. He take on the fullness of the Melchizedek priesthood handed down within the, within the Noahitic tradition from Noah. And with it, the Most High God was pleased. And with it, he blessed and said that his son, Aesus, according to the oracle, all Christly character, the Christ Lamb, the Christ King, and the Christ priest will follow up this concept. The Melchizedek priest so then during the time of Shem will indicate in the feature of this video that it was he Melchizedek that blessed Abraham and that he Melchizedek son of Shem was above Abraham and that Abraham was him. And so it is that, that the feature the feature of this video would indicate that High Selassie, who is also Melchizedek, is also above Abraham. Stay tuned. And listen to the video. And it points to the fullness and greatness of Exebia and the blessed authorization handed down to his son. Blessed be his name. Stay tuned. Silla.
end of the world was just. In the beginning, Jah created the heaven and the earth. Then created man of his own likeness. Let me read it that Jehu Hulu. Tina yet still in. Xavier, yeah, Mr. Ken. To all beloved of my God, let the day. May God give you heaven. Blessed to all children of my Father. Bless our sons and daughters. Let them that bless themselves in Rastafara. He's my guide. Let them that bless themselves in Kedamawe Alessila. So who shall I be? Xavier. Xavier Kuta Yenesi. The wrath of Jacome. But ready, baby, Lani, Lani, Heluni. Judgment. Blessed be Jah, blessed be his soul. I hail Haile Selassie the first. I hear no other. I give thanks to Xavier for the Melchizedek order to the Christ Lamb, the Christ King, from the Christ Priest. There's one Melchizedek where Christ is the only one. When we speak of Christ, we make reference of the Christ Lamb, the Christ King, and the Christ Priest. Melchizedek priesthood is not carnal and fleshy, but of moral and spiritual conduct. After the deluge, when scriptures speak of Melchizedek, it refers to the Christ and no one else. All the advents of the Christ manifest the account of Melchizedek as Christ is the fullness and pathway of Melchizedek. Therefore, Christ as the son of Xavier stands in the order of Melchizedek and no one else attained that order. The fullness of the Christ and his manifestation of the first, second and third advent hold no account of contemporary form, meaning that there would never be two Christ manifesting themselves at the same time. Man that think in this fashion is not learned. The Melchizedek pathway is not naturally given with the understanding that there is only one Christ as pertaining to the fullness of the oracle. The Melchizedek pathway is naturally given with the understanding that there is only one Christ as pertaining to the fullness of the oracle. I say only one Christ as pertaining to the oracle because apart from the divine fullness of the oracle of Zion or the tabernacle, there were other messiahs within, the, within Israel, example like David. And Solomon, Moses, they were also Messiah. Melchizedek sometimes spelled M E C H I S E. But put it in terms, it's spelled M E L C H I Z E. E.K. Melchizedek is a very important name mentioned in various script, example the clever Nagas, Melchizedek legend of the Salvik, 
a Pinoch and the canon version which they call the Bible. Who is it that argues the point of Abraham and Melchizedek? Because there are many that argue the point regarding Abraham and Melchizedek. And I reason with this fullness because I heard and I've been hearing that within certain house or some houses Some person refers to Abraham as the manifestation of Haile Selassie when certain visits were made by Haile Selassie and certain elders of the church were greeted by Haile Selassie and certain instruments of present were given. I've been here in certain houses, certain houses within certain harders making mention that that was a fulfillment when Melchizedek and Abraham greet each other. And when I asked the question, who were both representing? If the visit of Haile Selassie holding hand and greeting certain elders of certain houses, I asked them to, to tell me who is, which one is Abraham and which one is Melchizedek, seeing that they are saying, or uh, a, a specific person within certain house is saying that that was a fulfillment. So I ask the person to tell me which one of those, which one of those two persons. When Selassie I visit and greet the other elders, I ask him to tell me who Selassie represents and who would the elders represent. A person is saying that Abraham is represented by High Selassie and Melchizedek is represented by the elder, the elder. It's ironic and nonsensical in the view. And for this reason, I seek to make this fullness of this video to argue and to reason and to explain my point. Because in many of you, the script, the Kebanegas, the Sixth Canon version, the Salvanic version also make mention that one is greater than the other. And it points to saying that Melchizedek was greater than Abraham. And if they are saying that Haile Selassie is being represented by Abraham, and Melchizedek is being represented by the Helder, then what they are saying that the Helder is above Haile Selassie, that's very outrageous. It's not deep. A man plunders and becomes confused when thinking that Abraham is above, is above Melchizedek. And the scriptures prove otherwise. The words of Saint Athanasius indicated that Melchizedek was a son of King Melke and Queen Salem. The work of this writer, Saint Athanasius, that is his name, goes on to explain how Abraham converted Melchizedek to the one and true God. However, I see Athanasius' work controversial and will create an interjectory as Abraham could not be con converting someone already close to Xavier. How could Abraham convert in Melchizedek when Melchizedek was close to most high God Xavier already? Abraham in his stewardship is much younger than Melchizedek, who is hundreds of years older and walking within the path of Xavier. It was shown within all versions Abraham took obedience to the high priest Melchizedek, who is a high priest in stewardship for the Most High God. Abraham, who sees this man above him in stature, took the position being the lower vessel, and he proved this by paying reference, reverence to this high priest of the Most High God. Then if Abraham pays respect to Melchizedek, how could Abraham be above Melchizedek? And if Melchizedek, in the point of meeting Abraham, was serving the Most High God, how could Abraham convert Melchizedek? It's ironic a nonsensical point of view by many persons within their reasoning and their ability towards the fullness of Abraham and Melchizedek. 
Melchizedek legend of Salvanic, the book of Enoch, found in the English of Dr. Charles Edison, page 85 to 93, speaks of Melchizedek's story with great interest. Where Enoch blessed his son Methuselah, Methuselah by name, giving him the succession of the priestly order. Methuselah and he and her other sons constructed an altar at Hakuzan, where he and her had been taken up. The word Hakuzan is the word for the hill of the temple of Jerusalem. At that time, the hill of Jerusalem, there was a temple and they called it the place, more likely an altar, they call it the word meaning Hakuzan. In the text, the Slavonic version continues to explain that Xavier confirmed Methuselah's appointment of the priestly chamber and commanded him at the end of his service to hand the priestly chamber to the, to the second son of his son Lamech. The text does not give an explanation why Noah was not appointed to the priestly duties, but the text indicated that the people accepted Ner, the second son of Lamech, and brought up Noah to the priesthood. The rabbinic literature and the Babylonian Talmud give the fullness of this understanding regarding the ascension of the Melchizedek to the priestly chamber. It pointed out that Ner, son of Lamech, was of great importance within the Slavonic text. Its, regarding, it, its recording shows that while Ner was high priest, his wife Saponima was miraculously impregnated by a child. The child's name was Melchizedek, who Nair and his brother Noah took for safety from the discard of this mis of the mysterious bird. Meaning that they were discarded, they were reasoning. They were controversial points of view regarding this bird. The son of Lamech. No um the recording shows that while Nair was an high priest, his wife, Sopanima, so is, so is the name of his wife, Sopanima, was miraculously impregnated. That's what it was within reasoning. The, the idea given by the Slavonic text indicated that Melchizedek was placed in the Garden of Eden where he could be safe until after the flood. During that time, near son of Lamech died and the priest remained vacant. But the argument continued regarding the impregnation of near the high priest's wife, Sopatami, Sopa, Sopa, Sopanima. Because within, within a year of time, near confronted her. And he asked her regarding her impregnation. She did not, within the fullness, give an account, within reasoning. And the reason was not satisfactory, within the sense, according to the script, unto Nair. But she defended herself, within that good sense, in that regard, speaking of not being impregnated by any angel. By any Nephilims, so to speak, and so on. But, but within reasoning, Nair was not comfortable. His suspicion grew regarding to the impregnation or any son of God, or any angel in the sense. It's ironic though, because the same issues pointed to the birth of the Messiah. The same issue pointed to even the birth of the mother of the Messiah. Because in the Petra of Algilion, it recorded that Joachim also green light thing to speak, the, 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 the Petra of Algilion speak of the, the, the birth of the mother of Mary. That, that she was impregnated without having sex. When she was impregnated 
by Mary, the mother of Jesus. With, with Mary, the mother of Jesus. But then, within time, you could find out that the Catholic version, they reviewed their status. And that was omitted from the version, so to speak. But let's go back to the fullness of the Melchizedek pathway. The era pre the deluge gave, pre gave precedence to the priesthood of the, e cut, of the Enochitic tradition. Meaning that before the, before the deluge, the deluge is referenced to the, the, the day of Noah or the day of the flood. Some people refer to it as deluge. So before the day of the flood, the priesthood order was referred to the Enochitic tradition. However, when the priesthood was mentioned in the era after the deluge, it gives credence to the Noahitic tradition. However, with great understanding, one could see the possibility that Melchizedek was truly a priest within his era. But his priesthood activities was taken up by Noah, who gives full support to the Council of the Divine Worship. Melchizedek priestly orders could, could have not have mentioned in the text of scriptures if he hadn't a council of priesthood. This text exposes the fact that Melchizedek could have, could have taken up his priesthood role after the deluge. What then? This is natural because we can now see that after the flood, the ascension of the Noahitic priestly order was now a transition from the Enochitic order, which Noah passed on to his son Shem, thus giving the substitution of the priestly line of Noah to Shem, that Shem, rather than near to Melchizedek, then to Noah. This identification of, the Mel of, the Mel of Melchizedek with Shem, son of Noah, by Rabbi, Ishmael ben Elisha was very popular in rabbinic literature. We can find the origins of this tradition from a very early time. Identifying Melchizedek as Shem will be found in the Takums, Aramic rendering of the Hebrew Bible. P.G. Neoph, which is, which is Takum Neophyte, within the, within the, on the Genesis, on Genesis, 14 verse 18 shows the exit the exit the take up development of this identification reading as Melchizedek king of Jerusalem he is Shem the great brought out bread and wine for he was the priest who ministered in the high priesthood before the most high God you know that would be the version written in the Targum Neophyte the Targum Neophyte in a version given by the rabbinical version in regarding or similar parallel to Genesis 14 verse 18 and again it shows the exegetical development of this identification which read saying and Melchizedek king of Salem or Melchizedek king of Jerusalem Salem Jerusalem is the same thing Jerusalem is the same thing as, as, as Salem Jerusalem, uh, Jerusalem, and so it says, and Melchizedek, king of Jerusalem, or Salem, he is Shem the Great, brought out bread and wine, for he was the priest who ministered in the high priesthood before the most like God. The Zuda Jonathan Tabum Jerusalem, Rami, it holds a similar exegetical position when it reads, righteous king that is Shem the son of Noah king of Jerusalem went out to meet Abraham and brought him bread and wine at that time he was ministering before the most high God biblical chronology proves the possibility of the meeting of Shem who would eat Melchizedek and Abraham after the defeat of the kings Genesis 14 verse 17 Genesis 11, 10 to 26 indicate that Shem lived 500 years after the birth of the first Abraham. After the birth, after the birth of Abraham. 500 years after the birth of his first son, Arphaxad. 
there were 290 years between the birth of Ar Arphaxad and the birth of Abraham. When Abraham was born, Shem lived for another 210 years. According to Genesis 20, 25 verse 7, Abraham lived 175 years. It says that Shem in fact outlived Abraham by 35 years. So it proves that Shem was alive during the period. All these price leaves or gifts ed edification in light of education to say that Melchizedek then was Shem or Shem the son of Noah. Hence come the Noahitic tradition. Remove or taken from the Enochitic tradition. Verses within script never make reference to Melchizedek as in, as in the form of ancient Melchizedek speaking thus from the son of Ner. The point is whether there, there was within truth and fact and Melchizedek different from Shem, the son of Noah, then one can relate to the points then that why would Shem, the son of Noah, exist by using that name meaning the Melchizedek or the Noahitic tradition versus the Enochitic or the Enochitic tradition. There must be a fullness that Melchizedek or the original Melchizedek, which is son of Ner, must would have sit as king of Salem, or high priest with most high God, or the most high God in his time. Because scriptures prove then that Melchizedek then with Shem was not their so forth a name, but it was a title that Shem son of Noah used. And by then and reasoning, the theological point of view and the doctrinal point of view hence of the proof, hence that Shem with an ideal was that same Melchizedek that, that spoke with Abraham. However, the book of Joshua 16 verse 11 and 12 it educates as follows and it says Adonai Zek, king of Jerusalem Adonai Zek, Adonai Zedek, king of Salem. Uh, let me give you the verse in full text. The book of Joshua 16, verse 11 and 12, dedicated as follows, and it says, Adonai Zedek, king of Jerusalem, the same was Shem, went out with this, went out with his men to meet Abraham and his people with bread and wine. And they remained together in the valley of Melech. And Adonai, and Adonai Zedek, and Adonai Zedek blessed Abraham, and Abraham gave him the tent from all that he had brought from the spoil of his enemies. Of his enemies. For Adonai Zedek was a priest before the Most High God. The book of Joshua indicates in full understanding, not, an if and do, not, not a hip and but, but in full text of the word it says, Adonai Zedek. Who is this king of Jerusalem, or who is this king of Salem, was the same Shem, son of Noah. Adonai Zedek is also the same word meaning Melchizedek. Melchizedek in a sense means Malek means king, and Zedek means righteousness. Hence Melchizedek means priest of righteousness. Adonai, Adonai Zedek, it comes from the word Adonai, when the Hebrew did not want to use the name given within the text of formation by Moses. And in that way, they use the word Adonai, other than using the name of the word God. They use the word, they use the title Adonai and Zedek. So that's why you find Adonai Zedek, it also comes within meaning the same as Melchizedek. So he is saying that Melchizedek was Shem. It's taken also from this chapter 15, verse 11 and 12. And giving us identification that it was a fact that Melchizedek was Shem. This Melchizedek that meets Abraham was not Melchizedek within the iration or the original state of the son of Ner, but it was a Melchizedek who took on or continued with the priestly title given or handed down.
from the original high priest whose name was Melchizedek. With all controversial and all controversy that remain, we read within the sixth canon version indicating that Melchizedek was king of Salem. Meaning that he really seated as king and priest of Salem. I ask a question then. Was it that Melchizedek became king after the deluge? But the flood discontinues the story on the Enochitic tradition. One thing for certain though is that the Melchizedek priesthood was a declaration of truth and a testimony. And it gives virtue that should follow as a standard and example. The priesthood order now becomes a title instead of name, which brings to remembrance of the declaration given in the Kevanagas concerning the belief of Abraham. Kevanagas chapter 105 concerning the, the belief of Abraham. It's an extract. It says, And thou dost not understand that they were justified by faith. Abraham and David and all the prophets, one after the other, who prophesied concerning the coming of the Son of God. And Abraham said, Without the days, O Lord, cast thy word upon the ground. And God said unto him, By no means. His time hath not yet come. I will show thee as the multitude of his coming. Get thee over the Jordan and, and dip thyself in the water as thou goest over and arrive at the city of Salem, where thou shalt meet Melchizedek. And I will command him to show thee the sign and the multitude of him, meaning him the son of man. And Abraham did this, and he found Melchizedek. And he gave him the mystery of the bread and wine. Meaning Melchizedek gave Abraham the mystery pertaining to the bread and wine. Meaning the bread and wine that they both had according to the book of Genesis. That same which is celebrated in our Passover for our salvation to the Lord Jesus Christ. This was his desire. And the joy of Abraham as he went round the altar which Melchizedek had made, carrying branch and palm on the day of the Sabbath. See how they rejoice in his belief and see how he was justified by his belief. Now the reward is saying, O blind Jews, who though having eyes seest not and having ears hearest not, even as the prophet Isaiah said concerning you, your eyes are blind and your hearts are covered with darkness, so that they may not understand that the most high God is there, may not show compassion on them. Within reasoning and I speaking regarding the text, which is an extract from the Kevin Agar. Chapter 1, 105 concerning the belief of Abraham. That's the belief of Abraham. Now it is saying that Abraham went, Abraham was instru in in instructed by the Most High God Xavier to say, Go over to Jordan and go and meet the, uh, over to the city of Salem and go meet Melchizedek and he will give you a sign. You can even explain that Abraham did as he was told and he found Melchizedek and Melchizedek. Explain the mystery of the bread and wine unto him. The same bread and wine that they, they that they break after meeting the victory over the kings of Calcamin. Now I ask the question again. How then can Abraham converted Melchizedek when he was told and instructed by the Most High God Exhibit to go and seek instruction from Melchizedek? It's ironic, it's absurdity, it's nonsensical. And the points they prove in the in the Kevin Eagles chapter 5. Concerning the belief of Abraham, that Abraham in his own self admitted within scripture and, and he rejoiced. He celebrated and danced around the altar that Melchizedek had made. Melchizedek had made an altar that Abraham himself went around and danced. So, how could Athanasius, Athanasius, that's his name, I believe, referred and say in itself that Abraham converted Melchizedek. Absurdities, I said again. Divert and revert the true cause and the power of the Melchizedek cause. I reason within the text and I say, how gracious is the most I God exhibit, who has shown this to all ones and ones. He showed the fullness that 
the fullness that opened the eyes of Abraham, and also opened the eyes of Pionai. How and what pace shall the coming of the Christ be manifest? It, is, it surely points to the fact that this king of Salem, within the book of Genesis, surely was, surely was above Abraham. His understanding in the knowledge of Ezebia and the Christ land. Kebra Naga indicates that Abraham could not have converted Melchizedek as according to the word of Saint Athanasius. Melchizedek seemed to be the one who had taught Abraham the true light of Rastafari, the true light of Ezebia, and the true light of Jah. The Kebra Naga gave it this enlightenment, showing Melchizedek the in the breaking of bread and drink of wine after the slaughter of the kings indicate the great ransom and blessing flowing from the coming of the Messiah, the fountain of grace. The text points to the Messiah in his advent as Christ Lamb, Christ King and Christ Priest. The order of Melchizedek does not stand as a mere priest but high priest and king of kings as well. His name is written in the majority of the Mazer, of the Mazer text, of the Mazer Hebrew text, showing two words, Malki Zidek, Malki one, Zidek two. These two words com composed together, giving the word Melchizedek, and it's reason and said Malki Zidek. Rendering one word in both the Septuagint meaning, and the Vulgate as well, meaning Melchizedek. The authorized King James Version of the 1611 renders the name Melchizedek, which spelled different from the Septuagint. So the King James Version or the NT, the New Testament, spelled it as M E. Now, The authorized King James Version 1611 rendered the name as Melchizedek spelled M E L C H I Z E D E D D A K when translating from the Hebrew. And Melchizedek, M E L C H I S E D E C H in the New Testament. So it's spelled in, 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 the, in the complete text of the Torah, Septuagint. Um, the Torah or the Bible or the Christian version, you find it spelled two different ways. One spelled different way in the Old Testament and it's spelled different way again in the New Testament. But it means the same thing though. The name is composed from the two elements. Melech, which means king, and Zedek, which means either righteousness or the proper name Zedek. With the addition it, well, in fact, it indicates the 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 the, the, uh, the, the archaic construct form, Malki, which with which, 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 which the ivory on it, which means king of. So that the name literally translates to king of righteousness, or my king is the death. The name is formed in parallel with Adonizedek, or Adonizedek which replaced the word Malek which replaced the word Malek with Adonai so the Malek is removed from the Zedek and you have Adonai so instead of Malek so you have Malek so that's why you in the in the book of Joshua, you see the word Adonai Zedek. Adonai means Lord. The new, the, it, it's a title or the name in reference to the name given to in the Tetragrammaton by Moses. The name of the deity. The name of the deity. That's not title. The name. It, the title Adonai is the word used when referring to the name of the God of Hebrew. I bring to the mind of all individuals that seek the fullness of his majesty and glory and glorify the son of Xavier. The need of 
I and I to look into the fullness of the Melchizedek principle and accept Melchizedek, not just as a priest, but king and high priest of Salem, the servant of Most High God. The Melchizedek order not only points to Melchizedek, but to all advent declared by the Christ Lamb, the Christ King, and the Christ Priest, meaning that all advent of Christ stand within the order of the Melchizedek priesthood. They are all Melchizedek. The Christ Lamb, Jesus, he is Melchizedek. The Christ King, Kedemari Ali Selassie, is Melchizedek. And the Christ Peace, who is to come, Moshe, is also Melchizedek. And within the fullness of their character, they stand in representation of the High Priest, Most High God. Hebrew 5 verse 4 and 5 says, And no man taketh his honor unto himself, but he that is called of God, as was Aaron. So also Christ glorified not himself to be made an high priest. But he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today I have begotten thee. So tell me, who is it that taketh this honor unto themselves? Then we speak on the fullness and we ask of Xavier and his judgment. And in light of the word we speak, Xavier, Kuta Yenesi. I preach most I God. Hebrew 5 verse 4 and 5 says, And no man taketh his honor unto himself, but he that is called of God, as was Aaron. So also Christ glorified not himself to be made an high priest. But he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today I have begotten thee. So tell me, who is it that taketh this honor unto themselves? Then we speak on the fullness, and we ask of Xavier and his judgment. And in light of the word, we speak Xavier Kuta Yenesi. Because the fullness of his judgment shall be clear upon all errors of mankind. Xavier Kuta Yenesi. Let judgment pronounce. The Messiah had no time declared himself such honor. But he was given this by Xavier, the father of all creation. His majesty, by whom the power of the Christ King manifests, did not take a touch hand unto himself, but speak that he is a servant of the Most High God, Xavier. I lay Selassie to whom the title is subjected, never taking this title unto himself. Whatever fact, I earn his title as King of Kings, hence the prophet the Christ King, and more so, the Christ peace will in no wise declared this title unto himself. But with assurance of the blessed call, Xavier will declare him high priest unto the order of Melchizedek. Ironic it is, as some houses of the flock that claim the fullness of Rastafari teach, teach that the Christ King and Melchizedek stand side by side within the fullness of flesh. And absurdity is my word. And a misconception without within Jack Race. The Christ King and the, full, and the fullness of Melchizedek are one and same. Because they are one in representation, being one in manifestation. They are not separate within the fullness of the gospel of the oracle. Any man think otherwise is not learned and will be subject to renegade in action. Once and one must understand that it was not the name as in the word Melchizedek. But within the utterance of the word, as in title, Melchizedek was known by the authorization of the power of Xavier. As a title given, even, even this service given by the man named Melchizedek was acceptable to him, Most High God Xavier. In this fashion, the Most High God made it known that Melchizedek's service was a perfect stature, and he would make his son, Aesos Christus, the Christ Lamb, walk in this order. 
Hebrew 5, verse 9 and 10 says, And being made perfect, he became the heart of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Call of God and I priest after the harder of Melchizedek. Does not the word speak in, it in, simplicity, in simplicity that the power given was registered under multitude after the fashion of Melchizedek? Well, with reference, well, with reiterated word, well, with reiterated word, the council loudly speak that Christ Lamb will walk in the path of this fullness and not just using the name but a title where his priestly order was known as Melchizedek order the book of the canon version says whether the forerunner is for us entered even a Jesus made an high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek Hebrews 6 verse 20 but what is the fullness of the priestly order? I ask a question. The fullness is not carnal. No law. It is tied to no genealogy, no parenthood, no end of days. Therefore, it is understandable why the Christ Lamb was up against the elders of the church, of the synagogue, who claimed to be the light of the sanctuary. Yea, the sanctuary there was all of flesh, carnal, and full of laws, and never give the way of perfection. It's like someone's and ones claiming this fullness within the law of consecration and within the Mosaic tradition. This priest would harder defined Rasta as spirituality and morally motivated, and not. I mean, and not the simplicity of the judgment of the flesh. The priestly order finds Zion as not in a state of man's or mean, but exhibits within hand, hand for the acts of the heart. The priestly order is the fundamental of the Messiah and his advent, as pertaining to the gene, as, as pertaining to the cup, as pertaining to the coming of him, son of Zion. The priestly heart to speak of Christ, not as of Christ, as he is of no genealogy, but for all mankind, black or otherwise. To say black Christ means that we have a white Christ, but there was never a white Christ. The Christ in his first advent Though he was a black visage, never separate himself from mankind. He gave himself to all mankind, both black, white, pink, or whatever color you, are, you want to call it. Please allow to speak of one baptism within the Christ Lamb, as he is the designated purpose of the fullness of John the Baptism. Whomsoever it is that baptized within the name of Haishilasi is muted in the fullness of John. And not one of that, and not one that understand the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Some members have some house baptized in the name of Isilasi. But man and his absurdities is way past the act of falsification and bring discard within the fold of Xavier. The fullness of baptism declares that where a testament is, there must be also a necessity to be the death of the testator. Hebrews 9 verse 16. What then a man must tell I? Is it that his majesty's blood was shed as a testator? Nonsense! Though his majesty is the return of the Christ Lamb, his advent suffice not a testator, but a mediator of Xavier, and a restorer of the throne and kingdom of the Father, him Xavier. I need no one to abhor the heart of the seed within the kingdom of Xavier, but shed forth the truth of the King of Kings, him that is the Christ King and return of the Christ Lamb. The Christ Lamb second advent has nothing to do with the remission of sin, but the restoration of the throne.
and the truth within all ones. I give all ones and one this scripture that says, So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin and the salvation. Hebrews 9 verse 28 If that is enough, if that is not enough, I give you another scripture from the 60th canon version and it says Therefore, leaving the principle, the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on to perfection not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works, of faith toward God, and of the doctrine of baptism, and of the laying of hands, and of the of dead, and of eternal judgment. And this will we do of God permit. <laughs> Hebrews 6, verse 1 to 3. It is actually indicated, he said, please be sure, as a matter of fact, please be sure to consider the word, the words, of the doctrine of, of the doctrine of baptism as to the work of John the Baptist which is taken up within the fold of conversion has nothing to have nothing to do with the era of the Christ King. We all firm that this baptism of the era of the Christ King is fully loaded spiritually and has set aside the counsel that opposed the understanding of the baptism done by the Christ Lamb, i.e. Jesus, comes to us. The act of this pacification dishonored the Christ Lamb and put into a hope and shame. Hebrews 6, 5, 2, 5, verse, Hebrews 6, 5 and 6. Rastafari rise the fullness and wrote the perfection. And its Melchizedek order is essential whereby it maintained then the heart of spirituality within the concept of divine worship and act without carnal judgment. Any host that speaks of Rastafari and yet cannot conceptualize the principle of the era of the Christ Lamb, i.e. Jesus close to us, is null and void, and of the fullness that was led by, and is null and void and, con and consists not of the fullness that was led by the Christ Lamb. Exhibia Kuta Yenesi. Let judgment fill them soul. Some members have some also speaking with contrary tongues concerning the country of Melchizedek. Refers to Melchizedek as only high priest. But with such tongue, one is speaking and limiting the counts of living God, Xavier. Melchizedek is both king and priest. As with reference to the scripture that says, for this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the most high God, Xavier, who met Abraham return from the slaughter of the king and bless him. To whom also Abraham give a ten part of all, first being by interpreting king of righteousness, and after that also king of Salem, which is also king of peace. Hebrews 7, 1 and 2. So how then? There's no other Melchizedek under the sun. But they have the Christ the order, meaning Christ Lamb, Christ King and Christ Priest. Xavier Kuta Yenesi. Whosoever speaketh of any other priest, speaketh to that they know not. Interpretation by some members of certain house say that Isilasi is Abraham, and that during the visit of Isilasi, he's shaking up hands with certain elders. Manifest the era of Abraham and Melchizedek after a slaughter of the king. One must be careful ridiculing the status of the king and lifting up another man's pride. Authority among the two. The fullness is not carnal. No law to its movement. It is tied to no genealogy. No parenthood, no end of days. Therefore, it is understandable why the Christ Lamb was up against the elders of the church, of the synagogue, who claimed to be the light of the sanctuary. Yea, the sanctuary then was all of flesh, carnal, and full of laws, and never give the way of perfection. 
It's like some ones and ones claiming this fullness within the law of consecration and within the Mosaic tradition. This priest would hardly define Rasta as spirituality and morally motivated. And not I mean, and not the simplicity of the judgment of the flesh. The priestly order finds Zion as not in a state of man's or means, but exhibit within hand hand for the acts of the heart. The priestly order is the fundamental of the Messiah and his advent, as pertaining to the general, as, as pertaining to the cup as pertaining to the coming of him, son of Zion. The priestly heart to speak of Christ, not as of a black Christ, as he is of no genealogy, but for all mankind, black or otherwise. To say black Christ means that we have a white Christ, but there was never a white Christ. The Christ in his first advent, though he was a black visage, never separate himself from mankind. He gave himself to all mankind, both black, white, pink, or whatever color you are, you want to call it. Please allow to speak of one baptism within the Christ Lamb, as he is the designated purpose of the fullness of John the Baptism. Whomsoever it is that baptized within the name of High Selassie, is muted in the fullness of Jah, and not one of that, and not one that understand the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. And praising him and healing him, we sing this song. Some members have some house baptized in the name of Isilasi. But man and his absurdities is way past the act of falsification and bring discard within the fold of Xavier. The fullness of baptism declares that where a testament is, there must be also a necessity to be the death of the testator. Matthew 9 verse 16. What then a man must tell I? Is it that his majesty blood was shed at a testator? Nonsense! Though his majesty is the return of the Christ Lamb, his advent suffice not a testator, but a mediator of Xavier, and a restorer of the throne and kingdom of the Father, him Xavier. Shown and kill up the father, him Xavier. I need no one to abhor the heart of the seed within the kingdom of Xavier, but shed for the truth of the king of kings, him that is the Christ king and return of the Christ lamb. The Christ lamb second advent has nothing to do with the remission of sin, but the restoration of the throne and the truth within all ones and one. For my proof, I give all ones and one this scripture that say, So Christ was once offered to be the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin and salvation. Hebrews 9 verse 28. If that is enough, if that is not enough, I give you another scripture from the 60th canon version, and it says, Therefore, leaving the principle the principles of the doctrine of Christ let us go on to perfection not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works of faith toward God and of the doctrine of baptism 
I have to lay it in our hands. And I have to put it from dead. And I have to turn on judgment. And this will we do what God permit. <laughs> Hebrews 6, verse 1 to 3. It is actually indicated. He said, please be sure, as a matter of fact, please be sure to consider the word, the words of the doctrine of, of the doctrine of baptism. As to the work of John the Baptist, which is taken up within the fold of conversion, has nothing to have nothing to do with the era of the Christ King. We hold firm that this baptism of the era of the Christ King is fully loaded spiritually and has set aside the counsel that opposed the understanding of the baptism done by the Christ Lamb, i.e. Jesus, the act of this falsification dishonored the Christ Lamb and put into a hope and shame. Hebrews 6, 5, 2 and 5, verse, Hebrews 6, 5 and 6. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the beginning, Jah created the heaven and the earth. Then created man of his own likeness. Gave unto man wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Jai is my health and my strength, so shall I feel. He's a shield upon my right and my left hand, so who shall I be? Jai is my key. is my light and my salvation so who shall I feel he's my guide throughout this creation so who shall I be Jai is my key Let judgment pronounce, let fire burn their soul. Did not the book illustrate that the fact that one is greater than the other, meaning it shall be greater than Abraham? In the canon version of the book, we read as follows. It says, the canon version means the Bible, it says, Now, consider how great this man was. And whom even the patriarch Abraham gave the tenth of his spoil. And verily they that are of the sons of Levi, who received the office of the priesthood, have a commandment to take the tithes of the people according to the law, that is, of their brethren, though they come out of the lines of Abraham. Hebrews 7. You sure how great this man was that Abraham forbore respect and reverence? So how often I see us going to tell me that? So Abraham convert Melchizedek. I know this virgin that claiming to be of the fall of Xavier, Isaac Selassie, gonna tell me that on meet that Isaac Selassie meeting this elder is the fool of Abraham meeting Melchizedek and that Isaac Selassie is Abraham. Xavier Kuta Yenesi. Let fire burn their soul. Let judgment pronounce. Naturally. Abraham was identified as a lesser authority among the two. But then I give you another verse also again. Read this one. It says, But he whose descent is not counted from them received tithe and offering. 
and bless him that had the promise. And without hard contradiction, the blessed, blessed of the greater. I quarrel with no man. But scripture had made evident that Melchizedek is above Abraham. And any man thinking otherwise is not of Jah. Zebia Kuta Yenesi. The judgment pronounced. Let fire burn their soul. This Melchizedek order carries no carnal fulfillment. As Melchizedek order follows not after the order and law of flesh. Melchizedek order sits within no carnal or physical vow. He who identified this order carries no similitude of oath that made him priest. But is made a priest by the oath and spirit of Xavier, the Most High God. I therefore put my claim and I rest my case. I therefore plead to all ones and ones and all beloved of my father. I say all ones and ones are under this authorization fullness and fullness of this order that is made not after the law of carnal commandment, but after the power of an endless life. For he testified the art of priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Blessed be thy name, O Most High God, Xavier. Blessed be thy name, Rastafari, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Blessed be thy name forever. Xavier! Xavier, Yemisken. Xavier, Kuta Yenesi. Blessed be thy name, Sira. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the beginning, Jah created the heaven and the earth. Then created man of his own likeness and image. He gave unto man wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. is my health and my strength, so shall I feel. He's a shield upon my right and my left hand, so whom shall I be? Jah is my key. is my light and my salvation so who shall I fear he's my guide throughout this creation so who shall I be afraid Jah is my key I give thanks and praise unto the Most High God, the Rastafari. I give thanks for his greatness, for his love, for his ever caring mercy, and for his teaching, leading me in the path of his truth. Beloved, beloved brethren, let us keep on firm in the truth and righteousness of his Majesty Ali Selassie. Be Xavier, let her read the Dutch who Tina yesterday in Xavier Yemisken. To all beloved of the Most High God, have a blessed day. May God give you well. Praise be to the Most High God. We are all children of the Most High God, and we should keep it in reverence in His name. Bless all children. 
father. Bless all sons and daughters of Zebedee. Bless them that bless themselves in Rastafara. Bless them that bless themselves in Kedamari Ali Selassie. Bless be his holy name. Xavier Yemisken. Xavier Kuta Yenesi. Freddy Babylonie Leia Uni. Bless be the most high God. Rastafari. Selassie. Praises be to his name. Ali Selassie the first. Amen.